My favourite game is trying to persuade Tess that pineapple doesn't belong on a pizza. No, I don't no, like no. kissing my husband after he's had water. You know the mummy, when he opens his mouth? Yeah. That's what I want to stick my tongue in. What's the name of your rabbit? Cheese. <gasps> no! My guest this week is the Queen of Strictly, a traitor in the making and a double NTA winner. It is, of course, Claudia Winkleman. Welcome to Spooning with Mark Wogan. I'm very excited to be here. I don't even understand what it is, but we should say out loud that I've known you for 25 years, 26 years. We have known each other since Burger King was a prince. There you go. So if you ever ask me to do anything, I'll just turn up. And I've arrived here. Very nice room. Thank you very much. And there are things covered in napkins and I'm confused. Well, we are we are in a different location to where we normally do it. Yeah. Which is we are in the Mount Street restaurant in okay. one of the private rooms. Just in case, you, I mean, you didn't arrive here blindfolded. You know no, exactly it's very, where you it's are. very beautiful. Yeah, and it's very lovely, and they've been very kind to us. And underneath all these napkins here, yeah, are an array of foods that will challenge your perceptions. Oh, yeah, but let as me... to what is delicious and what's not. Let me flag this. Yeah, I am fifty-one, so now I know what I like, what I don't like. I'm super old. Fixed opinions are my job to break. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. And that is the whole purpose of this. There is no such thing as a bad ingredient, Claudia. That's not but true. I can list before, you 900. Bef before we get into all the food, Fine. you know, as, as you have divulged, we have known each other an awfully long time. And in fact, we both sort of started out in TV at the same time. Yes, we did. Uh, my career ended and you're sort of flourished. No, but your uh, career got more exciting. Well, no, I went back into restaurants. Yeah, but you own the best pizza place in the whole world. Well, that's very good of you to say. And I agree with you, obviously. But, you know, we sort of worked together. Yeah, we uh, did. When we were children. Babies. By comparison yeah. to now. Um, one, of, one of my enduring memories of our, our work together was when we were both working on This Morning oh, yeah. together. And I don't know if you recall, we were, we were sent to a circus. I don't remember this. You don't what remember? were we doing? We were sent to a circus to try out lots of circus acts, things. right? And I don't know if you recall, at one point we had to dress up as clowns. Yeah, this is we ringing put, a bell. We were put in the clown caravan yeah. where the smell was quite unbelievable. Oh, was it? Of sort of... Soiled clown outfits. Yeah, feet. Yeah, and very, very large feet. Very big feet. feet, that kind of thing. And we were put on high wires. I can't believe you don't remember. You see, you've had so much more of a career than me that this is this is nothing to you. That's it's not it's true. It's because into, into I'm, the past I'm 30 years older than you. So every, anything I've done, I literally can't remember. Do you know at the end of Strictly every year they go, can you put five names in the hat? Everybody, mm. props boys, crew, everybody. Just like, who would you like to see? It's not that official, but like, who would you like? Without a doubt. With that, and I don't try and do this. I write down people who have already done it. I go, do you know who I'd love to see? Alicia Dixon. They go, you know she's won. She's amazing. I was like, oh, okay, fun. Great, great. Do you have ever, are there other fun games you play on Strictly? Because, I mean, obviously, having done it now for... 900 years. 900 years. Uh, it can be a bit maybe samey? No, because no? the cast are different. No, but I hear you. No, my favourite game is trying to persuade Tess that pineapple doesn't belong on a pizza. So we always end every show, us lying on her floor. I have to take out our contact lens because I love her and she only wears it for Strictly and she doesn't want to take it out. What, just, she's a, only one eye works? Only the one. Okay. Only the one. I only wear one too. It happens. I, let's not I mean, pull on that string. No, but Knowing you as I do, mm. you are essentially clinically blind. Yeah, I'm you? minus 15. When well, we, no, I've when had we operations. First met, when we first met, <laughs> Claudia used to have a Rover car. Yeah, I did. And this car was extraordinary because there wasn't a panel on it that was undamaged. I just like to kiss other cars. That's the, what the, I call there it. There was bits hanging off it. Hanging off. And being in that car with you was possibly the most terrifying thing ever because you cannot see your hand in front of your face. No, it, you're right. But I've, I've, that's been operated. How big are the operated. letters on auto cue for Massive. Me. That's why they just give me the scores are in. And that's eight sheets of auto cue. <laughs> there. Here we go. This rings a bell. Scores. Oh. Um, anyway, we always end up eating pizza in Tessa's room and she loves pineapple on it. And I say that is... That's wrong. Look, I have made pizzas in the past with pineapple on it. I think it has a place, but not your classic Hawaiian 
I don't like fruit on in anything savoury. I won't have it. Do you eat fruit at all? I'm not interested in fruit. If you said to me, Claude, bad news, we've lost all the fruit, I'd be like, OK. I, quite, I think I had a cherry that I quite enjoyed once, <laughs> but that's it. But With no, fruit's not my bag. I like a potato. Is avocado fruit? Yes. Well, then I love fruit because I'm mad for what avocado. About, what about a tomato? No, thank you. I mean, I like it squished down, covered on ravioli or on one of your pizza bases. But otherwise, I'm never going to go, mm, a tomato salad. little cherry tomato for No, you. thank you. I'll tell you what I don't approve of, and I don't know what's under this. I don't like cold food. I have no time for cold food. Well, I mean, that, and I don't like. Depends summer. how long we talk for, because it may end up cold. Fine, but you'll have to pretend. I it's like hot. very hot food. I if like you winter. could just pretend it's hot when Fine. you eat it, that would be great. Steaming. Yeah. So, you started out as a travel writer. Is that correct? I don't really know <clears> when I started out, and I love the fact that I am going to have to try and remember. What I did is I went to university to study history of art. Can we just say? You didn't go to university. I you went to Cambridge. Well, it is a university. You know, I mean, let's face it, you hide your massive intelligence I'm, really well. No, 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 I'm not intelligent. It was a fluke. Anyway, I go there and I think I want to go and work in a gallery. I last three days because nothing happens and they make me wear a court shoe. I don't know if you've ever seen a court shoe, but I was like, guys, this can't happen. And I was brought up in a noisy house of journalists, so I wanted noise. I went and worked as a fashion assistant and that's... Then when I met you, because at weekends I'd go and work at live TV. Live TV. For those for those who were, you know, born after maybe 1980, they won't know what no. live TV was. Well, it was a hodgepodge of madness. Nobody watched. At one point I said, let's open the phone lines. And they cut to a shot of somebody at reception who was having a sleep. And nobody, nobody phoned. But it was very good practice. And I feel bad because lots of people say to me now, I'd like to be a TV presenter. Where do I go? And I don't know. We had hours and hours and well, you know hours of live television. You know what you do? You, what? do, you do a podcast. Oh. That's, that's what we do now. Here we go. Now, those, of, those of us who don't actually have a career in media, we do a podcast. Yeah. But I love podcasts. And we call on our old mates just to come in and make us Say, look Say, oi, look turn good. up. Can Eat something up? cold, pretend but it's hot. But let's face it, you had forgotten you were doing this. And if we hadn't had dinner last week, you wouldn't be here. Well, but going back, I, can't, I know I keep on mentioning 51, but I am I'm rubbish. And if it's not in my... What do you call it? Phone. I think, I think it's called a phone, yes. Smart. Yeah. If it's not in there, then I don't... I mean, it literally says, pick up child every day. No, it doesn't. I remember to pick up him because then I can lick his eyebrows. But, yes, it was good I saw you. But I, I like to think I am responsible for lots of aspects of your life. You are. You know, for example, because we presented TV together, you looked so much better and therefore went on to have a career. No. And then also... I introduce you to one of my oldest friends who then ended up being your husband. I mean, the biggest This is something role. we've actually never talked about publicly. Ever. Because it, whenever it sort of said they met through mutual friends, it was me. Yeah. All right? It's you. Uh, we met 26 years ago. Oh, my God. I know. Is it really that long ago? And then ago? I was too scared to be with him by himself. Not because he's scary, but just because I was like 25. and was like, oh, this all feels... And I, mean, I your made wedding you... doesn't seem that long ago. I can't remember my wedding because I had two I sips of wine. I had to have a nap. You had two sips of wine and fell asleep. Yeah. Because uh, you don't really do alcohol. I do, it's, well. I'm not. I try sometimes, but it's not really no. my I thing. I mean, I think I've seen you drunk twice. Yeah. In my whole life. Yeah. And and it was very funny. Yeah. But, but it's not but my. It's not something I'd always you prefer require. a Ribena. Yeah. Ribena light. Of course. I'm not ill. <laughs> Full sugar yeah. is not. You, you it's too much. You love a bit of aspartamine, don't you? I Something can't chemical. get enough of it. Somebody just said, I had a really bad cold or something. They went, you need a Coca-Cola. When was the last time you had a full fat Coke? Oh, I regularly have a full fat Coke. I it mean, I like blew it. my mind. I was like on a hamster wheel for 17 days. Same with caffeine. I had a proper coffee once I was awake for four days. Because you, your, your go-to coffee is instant. I love instant. Do you remember something called... Uh, by the way, anybody who's under... 70 won't understand mellow birds will make you smile 
don't think it was anything to do with coffee. It was just a ca- coffee flavour powder. I only like instant. No, it was. It, it, yeah, it, it, it had no no coffee in it at all. No, it was a brown was powder that you poured hot water onto. Yeah, and it made a brown drink. Heavenly. I also remember the automatic machines that were by Clix K L I X. Ah, yes. Now Heaven. that wasn't coffee either. But that's the most delicious thing I could ever drink. But the sort of the modern equivalent of that is those machines in. Um, Petrol stations, which you see people readily going and get coffee from. Yeah. And it's undrinkable. Oh, I think I'd like it. I'm a slight coffee snob. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I don't even know what a coffee bean is. Well, Do I mean, you grind fact, your it, beans? Yeah, Pardon? no. no. I, I it remember, wasn't a question. I, I said to a friend of mine very excitedly, I've got a new bean to cup machine. Uh, to which he replied, if you ever say that statement to me again, we are no longer friends. Correct. But, Correct. But I'm very proud of my bean to cup machine. And Good. I, I no, have listen. the highest quality coffee in my house. Do you, and how many that. coffees do you have a day? I can't leave the house without at least two double espressos. Stop, this is too much. And then probably by about 12, I've had about four of those. But what? then I don't really drink coffee after 12. No, okay. Because then I, then I won't feel Then it'll mess great. with your sleep. But then that's, you know, but it's part of getting me through my whole... One meal, one meal a day thing. Yeah, wh- when is this meal? Usually in the evening, about seven o'clock. So have you eaten today? No. And will you eat this? No, that, you're eating this. Okay, but I'm scared what it is. So, I mean, it, there, are, there are lots of things you talked about from your childhood. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and one of them is this here. What is it? Which is... Yeah, bo- lovely. Boiled eggs. Yeah. Right? So I've got some boiled eggs and soldiers for you here. Okay. Now, what is it? You you mentioned. Is there, that is the, there something weird in here? No, the, the, there's no, not a there's trick. Eggs and soldiers. Okay, good. Now with that, I've also got, and I don't know whether you'd have that with it, but your favourite condiment, which is HP sauce. Yes, what I wouldn't t- have it with, but HP is the love of my life, because it reminds me of my dad, who is also the love of my life. And a very overdone sausage, like a sausage to the point where you're like, oh, has that been in the oven for four days? Mm. Dipped in HP, heavenly. Now, you see, my father, yeah. he liked to butter a sausage. You're joking? No. You're joking? No. So hard th- butter or soft? Would he just no, dip no, it in? No, 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 no. It had to be hard, cold butter. <gasps> so you just Salted. bite the tip off the sausage and then you butter the top of it and eat it like that. Because, I mean, obviously there's not enough fat in a sausage. That sounds amazing. But, I, I mean, you know, being Irish, because I do count myself as Irish, cool. it's not butter if you can't see your teeth in it. And salted? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, what, hello, what I was, it was French, a stupid question. What are the French it was a stupid thinking question, with unsalted? I it's, just, it's just basically grease. Yeah, this is, this is the dream, but not a soft egg, because I cannot cope with albumin well, look, that is wobbly. Here's a little spoon. Okay. Have yourself, why don't you just pop the top off that one? And oh, yeah. I think you'll find that one's done to your liking, madam. Yes, it is. So you like it hard boiled like that, but then you can't go, you can, you've got no soldier action with that. All right, this is going to blow your mind. Mm-hmm. In what This is what I do. This is how I make boiled egg and soldiers, but I think it's going to make you feel nauseous, but I would like you to be open minded. I always am. Thank you. Two slices, of, this is the perfect kind of toast. In the toaster, the second it comes out, you're not pausing, you are waiting, you butter it heavily, mm-hmm. then you slice it. Then you cut it into little squares. You're putting that in a bowl. Then you boil the eggs. Stay with me. It's called Dutch eggs or something. Then you, you get, are married put, to, to a Dane. Yeah. So there's a. And then you ish. Then you put. I mean, I am married, but I mean Dutch, Danish. And then you chop up a hard boiled egg and you mix it all in. Do you want some? You can't eat because you're one no, meal no, a day. No, that, that will throw out my whole eating regime. Okay. So that's delicious. Here, here's a spoon for the other one. Oh my god. Now, just, just take the top off the other one. Let me... I can already tell. I can already tell. What are you doing to me? What is wrong me? with it? What I'll, tell, wrong you, with I'll it? tell you exactly what's wrong with it. And everybody have a seat, because I've got two hours on this. That is albumin. Yes, that's, what, that's the white stuff. It needs to be set. If I open this, and it's even a little bit... I'm going to use the word gelatinous. I'm going to say it's got movement. I'm going to say it's not cooked. It, the whole thing is just too... How is that? Oh, that's not too bad. This is heaven. Can Easy. I show? Yeah, no. I mean, this is fine. I think that's I'd, a six minute. Annoyingly, turn. one of those is supposed to be soft boiled. No, this so I that love. We could discuss. And also, what's your thing with size of eggs? I do not like a large egg. A large egg says to me, nobody's had a good time. 
There's been too much pressure. There's been a bit, a bit... Am I wrong? I'm correct. A large egg denotes stress. So I feel the same way about an A star. Just get an A. Just get an A. And you know what's an A? A medium Burford Brown. I like a Burford Brown. I like... That's however, the only egg. However, I had a horrific time on Sunday morning. What happened? So, Burford Browns are great eggs. There's no, no getting the away best. from the colour of the yolk is lovely. I bet this is a Burford. Although, yes, no, you can tell that's a Burford. But they are a delicate yolk. So if you're trying to do a fried egg, mm. Sunday morning, I had two teenagers, Go on. desperate for some breakfast, two fried eggs, some bacon, please, Dan. I'd even done a potato rosti. Stop it. Because right? that's, 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 that's how, sun, dad. That's, that's that's how, how Sunday's Sunday goes in my house. Seven eggs, the yolk split. I don't want to be I rude. Did, I did end up throwing the pan across the kitchen. The room. Yeah. And the teenagers yeah. were like, teenagers do you like, know what? We'll just have marmalade well, the on toast. one who wasn't my teenager was looking at going, I don't see that sort of thing or that kind of language in my house. Um, I'm going to flag up the following. Now, you're a chef, so this is bold me saying it, yeah. but 26-year history. How are you cracking that egg? Because? Are you cracking it straight into the pan? No, I always crack into a cup first. Ramekin? Yes. Mm. Cup or a ramekin first. One-handed. Oh, well, now you're just showing off. I, I, I do, both hands. Don't be silly. Of course, of course I can. I don't know. It sounds like a weird sex thing. The point is, <laughs> I crack an egg with a certain amount of solemn um, gravitas. Mm -hmm. And I only crack it in. The thing about ramekins, quite a thick side. Let's mm. not mess with that. A glass with a thin, almost pointy, you know, sort well, of like an LSA, like this, like, like a, this, like an I would LSA crack an egg. crystal glass. You get me some Burfords, I'm going to blow By your the way, mind don't with touch that because that, that's water. I'm not touching. You hate it. water. It's disgusting. What's wrong with water? It's arrogant. <laughs> how is how is water arrogant? You see, I have a theory on water. Right, I drink a lot of water. Yeah, but that's just awful. And the I feel reason... sorry for your wife trying to having to kiss you, that big wet mouth and the big well, soggy no, I, tongue. I have, I have control over it going in and I out. I don't of like my kissing mouth. my husband after he's had water. I like a parched, I like a parched, <laughs> dry, an arid mouth, like a Mr. Burns mouth, like ah, you know the mummy. Did you watch the mummy? When he opens his mouth, <laughs> yeah. that's what I want to stick my tongue in. That's just extraordinary. It's fact. But I drink it because it's already boring, so you can't get bored of it. Because if it, well, oh, hold on. If that's how we live our lives, <laughs> this book's shit. But I know it's shit, so I might as well read it. <laughs> this film's boring me, but you know what? I know it's boring, so you I'll continue. You know the rule on books. No. If it hasn't got you in hundred pages, throw it away. Yeah, Don't of course. Persevere. Same with the film. Yeah. If you're not loving walk the out, film, walk out. Bye to bye. Yeah. So talk, talk me through limes. You love limes. What, what, what's, what's, what's it with you and limes? Okay. And soy sauce. Soy sauce is. So that we've, is got, the, we've got some limes here and some soy sauce in a little little dish. Receptacle. So soy sauce is the only thing that I actively miss. Like soy sauce is the flavour. If I don't have it. What let's about say your I'm children a, or your husband? No, in, to, in terms of food. Okay. Yeah. Never mind, Bear. I don't need to see you, but Christ, I'd like to go to Itsu. No. Soy sauce with rice, with avocado, with anything. If I've... Um, part, Are you a fan of a poke bowl? Not really, because I don't like huge hunks of raw fish. Yeah, I, I think poke bowls, lazy sushi. I couldn't yeah, be bothered like to sushi. make you sushi, so yeah. I just threw so it just in a bowl. So I just stuffed it all in a bowl. Yeah. Yeah. So soy sauce is my favourite flavour, because I love salt. So Malden salt on everything, mm -hmm. uh, even pudding. Um, then I like, yeah, so I love soy sauce. Limes to me, and they are a fruit, so this is going to Limes to me are just sex, sex they're just sexy. Limes to me are the promise of a good night, of a trick pelvis, of let's go. So, so what you're saying is you require a sharp citrusy juice with a dry, very, very dry mouth. That's I mean, what does it for you. Hello. I feel sorry for Chris. Well, it's how too do, late how, for that. How does he How does, how he, does he cope? I don't know. I mean, he cries a lot. Yeah. Now, look, we've come to that time in proceedings. OK, I'll just eat more egg. Go on, what do I have to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to now, somewhere around here... Is that, have you got a puppy? No, I haven't got a puppy. Somewhere around here, I have this for you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Which is our Spooning with Mark Wogan official blindfold, which many think looks like a small bra. Okay. 
So if you wouldn't mind popping that on. Okay, I've got an eye infection, so you might need to not give it to the next person. But what's going to happen? You know I don't like surprises. I don't like, oh, I'm so scared. What are you going to give me? I don't want to try a creme brulee. You will never persuade me that it's fine. I do not. I promise you I do not have a creme brulee for okay, you. Okay, right? let's go. So first up, you have answered our little questionnaire. Oh, my God, what is it? Before. And what I've got is I've got two things. Technically, this should be on a spoon, but it's quite hard to fit on a spoon. Why? What so is it? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just take... We're forking with Mark now. OK. Oh, here we go. So what I need you to do, this is a two-part thing. So I'm going to feed you something. So lean forward, open wide. This is going to go in. Okay. Why is it so good? And, and then, and then, and then, give me a hand. You need to drink that with it. <laughs> now, tell me what you're experiencing, what, what your taste... That's why it's so big. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's dry, at least. What is that? What is that? Well, what are you tasting? Describe what you're tasting. The, the whole point is you've got to describe it. Oh. Oh, I ate it. I had toast. Yeah. But it had... I'm going to use the word mousse. It had a moussey, it was moussey. <laughs> it was sort of gurgly. Gurgly? Um, it, it said to me, bubbles. It tastes good though. Is it, it pate? What is the thing I drank? Is that well, soup? Take, take the blindfold off for a second now. Take the blindfold. So what you had, given your love of all things melted cheese, you had a little Welsh rarebit toast. Oh! With a caramelised onion soup. On the side. Did yeah. I? Yes. That was you delicious. Love onions, I love onions. And you love cheese. Okay, that was good. It yeah. was the size of the toast. I don't want to yeah, come no, down I, on I try, you on I, the on the forking thing, but that was like a mammoth. Like I just ate a loaf. But how was was delicious? Was, you, so we like that. I'm so delighted we've established with it. that even blindfolded, you still love the things that you love. I love. Yeah, you and you can't change my mind. Okay. Do I have to put the blindfold on again? No, no, not yet. Not yet. I've got something down here for you, right? which we're going to talk about, but we have to talk about it really secretly. Okay. Because Johnny, the producer, is terrified of what I've got in this bag. Is it a spider? No. <gasps> it's That's the Manny love of Life my life. Peanut butter. The love of my life. Manny Life peanut butter. Now, Johnny, who's sitting over there, he's, he can't even look. Look at him. He's there. He can't is even he, look. Has he look. got an allergy? <clears throat> No, he hasn't got an allergy. Look, he can't even look at it. It's a complete phobia for him. Johnny, come here. Johnny, come, Why? come on. Why? It's like the come best. On. Come on. In you come, Johnny. What? What? Just, just come. Crouch down here for a second. <laughs> crouch down here, for, so so everybody watching and listening can hear and see you. What is it about? Pe look, he, look. He's Why? trying to hide it from view. What about? Are you married? No. Okay. What about you? Fall madly in love. She looks like a supermodel. She's got a super brain. She's funny. She loves your family. She wraps herself round you at night, makes you feel safe. Then in the morning, what do you want, baby? Oh, I just want some toast and peanut butter. She has a bite and then she wants to kiss you. What are you doing? She's going very far away from me. I mean, this is I'm not this dating is... a girl that likes that stuff. I mean, this does narrow Johnny's pool, which Girls is why I'm still what, single. Which, which, judging is, is but why? Is why? Pool do you already. like peanuts? No. Nothing. The smell, the, the name, everything. No. Do you like any nuts? No. Interesting. Have you got a nice Jewish girl for me, then? Well, she's going to like peanut butter. Ooh, she won't. He can't I'd rather be single. He's like you. Do you remember you went through that period where if I said spider, yeah, I you had to like say ridips. Yeah. You had to say it yeah, backwards. Yeah, backwards to, to lessen its now, power. Now, what Claudia did, she's a brave woman, and she went to London Zoo and did an aversion therapy course with spiders and they put spiders on her so that she could come to terms because it was a proper phobia. It has her. run out though, so I need to go back. All right, but you know, you'd be willing to do it again. I would. All right, so Johnny, this is, this is, this is one of the queens of your people. Why would don't you, you have a little taste? Why don't I'm you have a little silly. taste? Why don't you have a little taste? It's, I it's, would do anything it's, for you, but definitely not that. Why? Just have a look at it. No. Go on, just. <clears throat> Johnny, hold, yeah, the, hold the jar. Hold Johnny, the jar. Hold the jar. I'm not holding it. 
We need to get on with this podcast. You've got Pilates to go. All right, so go on, go on, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Johnny. I'll if you can just well. just clear, clear this away, that would be lovely. Johnny, you're amazing. Can that as well, as well. Do you want to open that up and have no, a spoon no. spoon of it? Yeah. No, I don't want to upset Johnny. No, Johnny's fine. Can you open it? Yeah. Okay. We'll just get the. You right back there, Johnny. You got no. that cleared away. There he's we go. Crying. He is. He's going. He's going. He literally will probably physically that, attack me. I love the fact that he's a producer of. A food podcast yeah. that wants to cry. Look, there we go. Look at that. You need to dip. Now, with the man life, you've got to go down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I, li- I am partial to a bit of peanut butter. Yeah. I like a bit of peanut butter. I like a bit of peanut butter with... Oh, my God. It's so with, good. With honey. Mm. little peanut butter. What? Hun- just, just a drizzle oh, of well. honey. And then... We a, have to put the lid back on. Dash. He's having a breakdown. Yeah, no, no. And then a dash... Of green Tabasco. Okay, well, I, know, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I like it with jam. That's for you to take home with you. <gasps> Thank you so much. We, we give it to Johnny. Right. Now, moving on, yeah. we must go, get to the next spoon. Okay, fine. Is All it right. blindfold time? It is blindfold time, so if you could put okay, the blindfold could you just back make it on. Little, I don't want to be like pernickety, but a bit smaller. Well, I mean, it's, it is what it is now. So, so this is now, work with me. if I know anything, this is going to be something I hate. Well, I mean, let's see. Let's see. So... What I've got here now is a little something on a plate. Now, what I need you to do is I'm just, really scared. No, just lean into it. Enjoy it. Open wide. Have you done small? Yeah, it's smallish. Open wide. Bit wider. There. Oh. What is that? I'm so scared. <laughs> For God's sake, open your mouth. Come on, play the game. There we go. Now, what are you tasting? What are you loving? What are you enjoying there? Okay, that's that's hoi, that's plum sauce. Yeah. And duck. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um. Maybe in a pancake. No. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Am I close? Yeah. Can I so take my blindfold off? You can take your blindfold off now. So oh yeah. You said your, one of your greatest food memories was sitting with your newborn baby. Mm-hmm. Having Chinese food delivered and sitting there eating in crispy, bed. crispy duck pancakes yeah. in bed. Why? Why was that like a sort of pregnancy type craving? What? Was no, that? I do. Well, I find Chinese food incredible. It feels to me, because I was born in nineteen seventy two, incredibly luxurious. Mm. Like you didn't have Chinese um, a lot. You would have it as a major treat. And there was one near our house in Camden, and we would go to, and it was. An event, I love egg fried rice, I love soy sauce, I love sweet and sour prawns, or I love lemon chicken. And duck was the crown, that was the pinnacle. But like we'd go twice a year, so it felt incredibly special. And now with my kids, you can see the high street, there are all kinds of places. You can go into, I don't know, sushi, or you can get noodles, or you can get whatever. And they're like, yeah, mum, quite fancy. And I was like, I try and explain to them, like an old lady, I'm like, you're so lucky. You're so lucky with the food in this country is so amazing. So you like that? That's I nice. love that. That's nice. Let me ask you a question. Is what, it about the fruit thing? What's no no. Oh. No no. What's 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 the name of your rabbit? Cheese. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> but you you see the thing is you I ate know, it but... and you enjoyed it. That's I really did. Thing. It was super tasty, but my poor bunny rabbit. So explain. So I said to you, you said, what would you never eat? And it's I said, a rabbit hoisin pancake. It's really delicious. Oh, I'm so sorry, cheese. And I said, I don't think I could eat, because I've eaten rabbit only once before, and it was delicious in yeah. France with pasta, and yeah. everyone was like, it's yeah. delicious. Rabbit ragout. Love it. Oh, it was so good. And my daughter, for her 16th, all she ever wanted was a bunny. She's got a bunny. She, he's a, she's a house bunny. She's called Cheese, and she just lives with us. She doesn't even Would she doesn't have like a Would you like to take the other one back for her to try? Stop it. I'm going to pretend that you didn't say that. Okay. So I said I wouldn't eat rabbit, and I just ate rabbit. Sorry. Naughty. It could have been tortoise. That's the other animal. I've got a tortoise, too. Yeah. yeah. We don't have a garden, so the two animals that don't need a garden. But you do have a garden now because you, you've become a country dweller, haven't you? We have rented somewhere in the countryside, but I, it's brand new, so I don't know. I've been there twice. I mean, because you are, you are a North London girl through and through. I am urban. 
I love the tube. I'm on the central line four times a day. I like the noise. Like people go, oh, London's so smelly and noisy. I basically live on a bus lane. You know, when like at night, when you come at night, I mean, I'm in bed at eight. But even when I go and pick up the kid from the kids from school and you come back and there are weird smells emanating from uh, basements. I love that. Each week we're doing different people. Last week was Matt Tebbit and this is what he said. I'd like to know when she gives the awards out at the Fortnum of Aces Awards and other awards I've seen her, she always looks a bit tipsy. Is that an act or is she? No! So I... is she, does she get drunk at awards ceremonies? Yeah, before she gives the awards out. She's very funny and very slick and always looks like she's having a ball. I love, that's such a good question. I love him. No, I don't drink. But my whole shtick, if you like, is ramshackle and like, is she hammered? You know, all a bit like messy and woo! And, and hiding the fact that you are a very intelligent, very worldly, very wise and incredible woman. No, you're and very sweet. one of my best friends. Oh, I love you, Mark. And you're has, one of mine. And it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on today. I love I'm you. I'm sorry for feeding you rabbit, I mean, but let's face it, you loved it. I loved it. Is there any more? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, that was your question from Matt. Yeah. Next up is Ben Miller. Yeah, he's brilliant. What question would you like to ask Ben? At home, I have recently got something called a hot tap fitted, where hot water comes out, and it's amazing. It's just in your sink. It's like some magic thing. You don't wait for a kettle. I feel like Mariah Carey. If you could have a tap in your kitchen that would deliver any food, what would it be? Would it be gravy? Could it possibly be French onion soup? Or could it be, with a nice wide neck, macaroni and cheese? What I'm saying to you, the tap, the tap of food, what's it delivering? A massive thank you to my guest today, Claudia Winkleman, who will undoubtedly continue to be on your screens forever. Next week, my guest is the actor, comedian and author, Ben Miller. Really looking forward to meeting Ben and having a chat about what he loves and what he thinks he hates. If you like a bit of social media, you can find me at Spooning with Mark Wogan across all the channels. And you'll find this podcast wherever you get your podcasts from. And if you enjoy what you've heard or seen, please leave a five star review if you feel so inclined. I mean, you don't have to, but it would be lovely. And we've got our own YouTube channel as well, so you can watch this all. This podcast has been produced by Johnny Seifert with filming by Rory Edwards and Chris Jacobs. It is a news broadcasting production.